because this is a catamaran, once again, you are going to get deep hatches on the porous starboard side. And we pretend you're fishing. Sail on, hurry. And then I can make it over there. This is the most fishable boat yeah, I've ever cool. seen in my life. And we now have, and we now have what, I would call, what I would call the dream view. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited because we're at the Stewart Boat Show for our very first time ever, right Amanda? Yes, first it time? is, it first is. time at Stewart. Tell and them why we're here. Why are we here? Oh yes, we are here because we are having a booth at the Miami 2022, while well, we're already in 2022, show, which is in February. And we don't know how we're setting up our booth. So we came here to check out other booths to get an idea of how we're gonna set it up. Now, we can't come to a show and not take you guys with us for at least some of it. So currently we are on the 35 Catamaran Invincible. We are going to give you a nice tour of it. A little fun fact, it's Peter Miller's boat. And if you don't know Peter Miller, he has a show on Discovery Channel called Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller. So definitely check that out. In the meantime, we're going to get through this intro. My name is Emily. May as well have the camera. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Winds. Let's start this boat tour from the bow and work our way towards the transom. Like I said earlier, this is Peter Miller's boat. So I'm kind of, it's kind of cool and I'm excited to give you guys a tour of it. I've never actually been on a 35 cat made by Invincible and I don't think we've ever showed you guys one either. If no, I've we have been not. on one that we've never showed you right, one. All right, so okay. let's start at the bow. So it's a cat and like any cats, they're gonna have more of like a square shape as opposed to having that forward bow being And it's super um, wide. So you're gonna Very get a wide. really That's nice cool. beam. Basically the entire boat, like you're getting a great beam from transom up to the helm, up to the bow. So that does give us a little more space in the bow. Go ahead and open that up, Emily. All right. So starting at the bow, we All have, right. you there see we that go. Amanda? We got our nice anchor, anchor locker. locker set up right there. Let's see, oh, is there an anchor ball in here? There is. I don't see an anchor ball. No anchor ball. But I'm wondering has... why Peter Miller doesn't have one. Let's maybe check it's his next somewhere hatch. else. Maybe it's somewhere else. Or maybe he took it off for the show. <laughs> or maybe, oh, well, he's a sail fisherman. He's a sail fisherman. So he so probably doesn't really anchor. Shore, so he probably doesn't anchor that much. We anchor a lot. All the time. So if you guys look at this, what's something cool about this anchor locker is these tabs that go over the anchor, which basically when you're running in rough seas, prevents the anchor from banging around in there. I don't think our boat has those, but it is an older boat. <laughs> the next hatch we're going to open up, I don't know what's in it. Oh, okay. It right. looks like a store attached. Yes, and also I forgot to mention, obviously we're over here looking for an anchor ball because it's Peter Miller's boat, but this boat is also all specked out for the boat show, as in like it's probably cleaned and detailed oh, yeah, and emptied. emptied. So emptied I don't know if we're so really gonna find cool, anything. Guys, that about this cat is that you have forward bow storage on the port and starboard side of the boat because it's a cat. If we were in a mono hole, there's no way you'd be able to fit a hatch here. You're, You're really only getting the anchor locker. anchor locker. So that's cool. We have some extra storage. So maybe you want to store fenders um, or an anchor ball. Lines, that's where I keep my an anchor, anchor ball. ball. <laughs> if you guys want to watch our video on how to use an anchor ball, maybe we should link that for them. Okay, let's move on and turn around and face the transom. Okay, so this backrest comes off so you don't have to have it here. And there is an option that this fish box gets attached to the console, so it becomes like a lounge. Right, but with you know what? Console. I'm just gonna do a quick turn. Yep. Right over there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see. That's 39 monohull invincible, which is that we took to Bimini, which has that lounge seat. So that boat tour is will be linked as well. So you have the option to do a lounge seat like the boat to my left, or you can have Separated. a separate Obviously coffin I box. Can stand behind here. So, so that you guys can see. Yeah. We've got a little path so between. So by separating it, you have more seats, like people can sit here and there, and this can become an extra cooler. So this can be a drink cooler and this can be a fish box. And if you, if you need together, to run oh. from side to side of the boat, so Emily, yes. pretend you're fishing. <gasps> Sail on, hurry. And then I can make it over there. Oh no, it went off over here. <laughs> then I got there you go. Here. So, so cool. that's a great reason to do it. And then you can see this coffin box has basically rod holders all along the sides. Um, that's kind of something that hardcore fishermen are going to want to do. We've yes. got some extra storage down here and we've got uh, probably another fish box where Emily is standing. Like we were saying earlier, if you guys haven't checked out Peter Miller, he does a lot of sail fishing and kite fishing and a lot of kite fishing happens off the bow, especially in a nice boat like this one. So he's gonna have a lot of rod holders up here because you're fishing up here and you wanna have your rod holders. 
and your cup holders because a lot of your time is spent up here. Another option for this boat is to remove this completely and just have that back seat. But because it's a cat, there's no whole space to have any whole storage over here. So right. if you want storage space on this boat in the center, it's gonna need to be like above the floor, like exactly. this. Exactly. But you get the storage on the sides, the port and starboard sides. You're gonna get going your to extra fish boxes or storage fish boxes or whatever you storage. choose. Whereas if this were a model hole, basically you could have the coffin box, but you could also have fish storage underneath it or just storage, if that all makes sense. Hopefully you're, <laughs> this is making sense. I think, I think they'll get the idea. Let's move on to the console. So because this is a cat, and like we were saying earlier, there's no hole space underneath it. The console's a lot Wait, shorter. there's no hole space in the center of the boat underneath it. Yes. There we go. Okay. So obviously it's a lot shorter of a space, but you make up for it in other areas. Peter has a head in here. I even see some toilet paper being stored. So this is something unique that he wanted. He wanted the extra rod holders in here for kite rods, because kite rods are very short. They're only like a couple feet tall. Or maybe you want to store some kites because the kites roll up and you can store them in there. And then we have our batteries, our battery switches, and everything else you can need in here. Next hatch is going to be right next to the console. Yep. And, and because this is a catamaran, once again, you are going to get deep hatches on the port and starboard side. We and go. they will be, I mean, unless you're like super strange and want a super customized boat, they are gonna be the same on the port and starboard side. Yes. We have our helm station, which has lots of space. You guys can see we have two screens. We have two VHFs. We have our screen for our engines, our Mercury's which are back there. And we have our compass, which every boat should always have a compass because you never know if your screens ever go. Yes, that and we've got good. some storage underneath yeah, the, the helm seat. Which is, there we go, we've got a nice bench seat. We've got a rain jacket in there and just some covers for our stereo and things like that. Okay, so Emily, should we do the transom first or the tower first? Um, yeah, so guys, you guys know that our dream boat is going to have a tower on it. So we're gonna do the so tower I think first. We, I was gonna say, save it for last. Okay, save it for last. Okay, let's do the transom, then we're gonna show you the tower. You guys may remember on the 39 mono hole, which is the boat we took to Bimini, Kona was sitting here quite a bit. So this is a cool seat. It also becomes a cooler, whether you want it to be for drinks. And let's open food. up the tackle station. I'm and assuming- And also have really cool So the 39 station. has this as and well. And they're magnetic, which is so There crazy. we go. We've got our tackle station right here. So let's pop these open. Let's see, we've got drawers. That's good for tackle boxes. So yeah, obviously Peter's stuff is not on here. Um, so we don't know, maybe he will carry an anchor ball on his boat. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> not last, probably second to last, we're gonna talk about the actual transom. So first we have a live well right here. And it's a very large live well. And I love the color blue on the inside. Amanda, you'll have to get a shot of that. I'm sure you guys are looking at this step back here. Yes. And it's kind of cool. It was put there for the purpose of kind of like replacing like a dive door. Yeah. So there is a door, there's a tuna door slash dive door up on the port side over here. Right. But if someone's off the back. Right, and there's a ladder right there. And there's a ladder, feet, Emily. A, step. a step. Maybe you want to come back here and bring a big fish in the boat or something. So that's actually, I think that's super cool. That's super cool. cool. And then, this, and then you obviously can clearly guys, see we've cat. got the cat. So you see that, I mean, the hole in the middle of the boat. That's what makes it a catamaran. I have a question for you, Emily. Yes. Is oh, your it, seat yes. Captain Emily approved? It's Captain Emily approved. Perfect. So what's cool on this boat is there's no shortage of seating. And if you have a lot of people, you can open up. There's one seat here. Hold and on. One seat but there. best part what? is there's no shortage of seating, but, but this is the most fishable boat yeah, that's really I've ever cool. seen in my life. It's very extremely fishable and there's a lot of seats. So Amanda, show them what it looks like. Yes. Yeah, so Emily is sitting shot. in the seat when, when it is open. out and open, ready to be used. I'm just going to work my way to my right. And that's what it looks like when it's put away. So it doesn't even need to be there. You can fish a tournament in this boat and literally nothing gets in the way. It's time for my favorite thing about this boat, which is going to be on my future boat one day. I am, I, I mark my words, I'm gonna have a tower one day. And we now have what I would call the dream view from the so, tower. So we're a little tight up here. Yes, the purpose for the tower is so when you're running offshore, you can find floaters. So like big logs that are offshore that mahi are gonna be on. You can find schools of birds, schools of fish. Better line of sight. Better line of sight so you can see further. Or maybe you just want a tower because it's a beautiful view. Yes, it's a beautiful view. So this is a fixed tower, basically meaning it's permanent. So there's fixed and collapsible. Collapsible towers are cool if you're gonna be trailing your boat a lot. So you can collapse it and then drive it on the road. Exactly, but the collapsible tower isn't something you're necessarily gonna be like, oh, I gotta go under a bridge, let's collapse it real fast. You probably could. What's really cool about this tower is the shade above me. It has a buggy top. You guys look up. 
for this top. And I'm also loving this color blue. And now I don't know if that was the reason for the color blue, but a little fun fact is when ceilings are painted. It's supposed color to keep blue, the ghost out, I it's, thought. It's like a good luck thing. People paint their ceilings. Well, a lot of people do it in Key West. It's really the people down in there. the South and Key West, Key West that do this, just I leave a comment and term. let us know. We should have the term pop up for you guys. This tower also has a second station. And basically a second station is a place that you can do everything from as if you were driving from down below at the helm. So I can drive, I have my, my um, throttles here, guys, squid brain. I can drive from up here and I also have a screen. So if I want to look at my chart or anything like that, I can drive, do everything from up here basically. We hope you guys had fun touring this 35 foot catamaran. Love this boat, really cool. Love the tower, love everything about it. We are going to move on to the rest of the show, but if you guys are going to be anywhere, be at the Miami 2022 show, it's the weekend after Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. So we Valentine's will be Day. there and have yes, a booth. We will be there and have a booth so we can say hi to you guys. We'll have Gale Force And we'll Ross, post Gale Instagram Force where our booth is. Yeah, we'll be giving you guys more for the future. But if we don't see you between now and then, we, we want, want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe. safe.